Hello guys, Javadis here and in this video we are going to learn rooms in Revit and in addition to their great feature for uh, specifying our spaces and analyzing the circulation between them and understanding their room finishes and create room finish schedules we and also we can convert ugly plans like this to better plan and colorful plans like this so if you are interested keep uh stay in this video and let's learn it okay in this video that in this uh sample model that we have in here we want to convert it to something like this very easily with rooms and we will understand the area volume and all of the information about each room the their department and their name and their number and all of the information that we need to create our room finish schedule okay that's great let's go to the uh, empty model to start with room you have a room and area panel in here but before doing anything it is great to specify and know the uh, area and computation uh, settings to do that click on in here and let's go to the fitting and let's uh, understand all of them in here volume are computed and finish faces uh, we have two options we can uh, put just on uh, area calculation it will be faster but it will be suitable if you don't want the volume for each room but if you want the volume you need to uh, change it to areas and volumes option to be to understand and to be able to extract both of them at the same time and also we have another thing here which is room area comput computation which will uh, specify the face that you want to uh, get your areas from for example if you want to get the air each space area from core to core or from center to center you need to change it to wall center or to core center but if you want it uh, to be face by face or finish uh, by finish uh, face you need to put it on at wall finish okay click on okay that's great and we are good to go but let me put it on areas and volumes and let's go to place your rooms you need to go to the plan uh, uh, view and then you need to click on room and you, uh, when you hover over your uh, cursor on any space you will see the rooms that you can place very easily and the areas will be highlighted in blue in here and also if you want to uh, place all of the rooms at the same time you can click on place room automatically but before that you can check the highlighted uh, places that your software is recognizing for example these are the boundaries of each room and it also uh, subtract the columns areas from them okay but for this uh, tutorial i'm not going to place them automatically let's place one in here one in here and one in here and one in here the first thing you need to understand that the room element is uh, different with the room tag when you select the room tag you will get the room tag but if you want to select your room you need to press tab once and you need to select your room to have the options and settings and properties for your room rooms okay that's great but let me put the uh, room uh, tags on room tags with area then you can see the areas of each space and also you can put it on room tag with volume which will show you the volume okay for the area it is really obvious you just uh, have the area of each room in highlighted uh, area but for volume you need to ask uh, from yourself what is the references what are the references and where is the top and where is the lowest part to understand that you need to select your room and in here you have a upper limit for it uh, and base offset the base offset is the offset between uh, level of uh, uh, beginner level and your uh, the your uh, room beginning for example in here the lowest uh, part of this room is at the level 01 entry level and we don't have any offset so i'm not i'm i am going to put it on 
zero, but the, for the upper limit, for example, if your ceiling is uh, lower than your next level, you need to uh, specify the exact height. For example, let me put it on 2.5 meter. And right now you can see the difference in volumes. But let's go back to the areas. I just wanted to show you the uh, reference and the things that you need to know before doing any calculation. Okay, let's put it on area and let's learn the new thing. Another important thing is, for example, we have a wall in here. Let me uh, select the room. We have a wall here. Sometimes it is a partition. We don't want to consider it as a, a fixed element and we want to, for example, calculate the area in these areas or even for columns. For sometimes you don't want to subtract the columns uh, areas from your whole area. To do that, you need to select each element that you want to, uh, you don't want to calculate them in your room uh, calculation. You need to select your, uh, for example, this wall, this wall, and then you need to uncheck the room bonding. And right now, after that, you can see our rooms are now is much bigger because our area is expanded. Another option, which is very important sometimes, for example, we have a corridor and we have a, for example, this hallway in here, but we don't have any wall between them and we, but, but we want to uh, differentiate these two, these two space from another, uh, each another. To do that, for example, when you put this uh, room in here, if I would zoom out, you will get all of the space that we have in here. Let me put it in here and let's put it on room with uh, tag with area. And you can, as you can see, let me put it on room with area. As you can see, we have a really big area that uh, that's because we haven't specified anything in here. To uh, separate these uh, space from each uh, each another, uh, you, each other you have to use room separator. Room separator is a hypothetical uh, wall or hypothetical thing that will separate uh, spaces from each other. For example, we have wall here and we have a wall here. When we create a room separator in here. It will uh, separate this space from this space. And it is really helpful for all of your projects and for the places that you don't have any uh, element that would separate your uh, spaces. Okay, that's great. And after creating your rooms, you can rename them very easily. You need to select your rooms. You can name it, for example, let me name it. Uh, something like uh, office, let me name it something else. After uh, placement all, all of all of your rooms and renaming them and numbering them, you can create a color scheme. Color scheme will differentiate them with, co uh, with color and it will give you a great look for your plan. To create a color scheme, you need to go to your properties or you need to go to your annotation. And from here, you need to add a color field legend. Let me place it in here. And you need to specify which uh, space type you are using. We are using rooms. And then you need to specify the parameter that you want to uh, color uh, colorize the uh, spaces according to that. For example, we want to color, uh, assign colors according to the name of each space. Then you put it on name and click on OK and you need to wait. And right now you can see all of the spaces has their color according to their name. For example, we have instruction in here and we have instruction here. So their color is same. And also you can do some uh, settings on this uh, legend in here and also you can go to the edit type and can change the color, change the size of these uh, squares in here and all of those things in here. And sometimes, for example, uh, in addition to this plan, you need to uh, 
um, you may want to create a department legend. Department legend, for example, uh, all of these instruction uh, rooms are in, uh, for example, office or commercial or any department that you have in your mind. And then you can uh, categorize them and colorize them by uh, department too. You only need to click on edit the scheme and you need to put it on department. But as you can see, we don't have any department. To assign departments to each room, you need to select them. And in here, you need to assign a department. For example, commercial. This is just an example. As you can see, it will give, uh, give them a color. And after assigning department to each room, you can get another uh, plan for your department. And after that, you can get the total area for each department, for each room, and so on. So that's going to be so helpful.